Welcome to the 10, thanks to Coles. Let's get into the best moments of round 12. In at number 10, it was a seesawing contest on the Gold Coast. And it was the Suns who got the job done, with the help of goals like this from Ben Ainsworth. Wheels around on the arc and drills it. But this is a kid who's lifted. He's everywhere at the present time, Bailey Humphrey. And uh, he doesn't muck around, he just went long. In at number nine, there was no denying Liam Ryan as he sold some candy and capped it off in style. Kingy will get to that as now Ryan takes a mark inside 50. Very fortuitous here, the Eagles. And reasonable time to get rid of it. And then Ryan, oh, he just steps around the man on the mark. Another commitment on the mark. Step. Thanks for coming and straight through the middle of the goals. This is brilliant. He, he hasn't. He hasn't preempted that, he's done that on the fly. At number eight, after a zig and a zag, there was only one thing on Nick Hines' mind, and his execution did not disappoint. Weaved his way past a couple. He's like a rabbit on a freeway. You never know what you're gonna get. Moment seven. High Flying Jai was doing his best for Mark of the Round contender and with a little bit of help from teammate Michael Walters. Oh, oh. what a fly! He's paid it. He has! Oh. Oh. Like Gary Ablett of the MCG, he's paid it! Did he control it? Ah, it doesn't matter now, he's paid the mark. In at number six, in front of an adoring home crowd, it was Jamie Cripps doing Dom Sheet things, threading the eye of the needle with absolute perfection. Close to the boundary, delayed the handle, created the space. Cripps from the pockets! He just knows where they are at all times. Liam Ryan's been really important in that forward half, just setting up score after score. Number five, Caleb Sarong was Caleb Sir Wright with 26 disposals and this absolute gem from the pocket as the Dockers destroyed the D's in the Alice. Sir Wrong! His first goal of the season is something special. The ability here for Sir Wrong to get forward. Sukowski gets his ninth score involvement today. And that is a fantastic finish. Entering at number four, He's a happy kid at Hawthorne, looking as comfortable as ever. Playing for the team he barracked for growing up, Jack Ginnivan was on fire at the G, helping the Hawks crush the finals hopes of the Crows. Jack Ginnivan on the siren! That's what the Hawks fans needed! Pumps his chest and just quietens the Crows late! On the podium at number three, in front of a cast of his Premiership Hawk teammates, Jack Gunston capped off his 250th game with three goals. Dylan Moore reading the fairy tale script perfectly. So often he's been a multiple goal kicker. Jack Gunston amongst family and friends, and that is unreal. Great scenes. Jack Gunston was reluctant to be lifted aloft, but great signs of respect by Adelaide. Football does this so well. In at number two, Captain Paddy Cripps was at his brown low best against the power, kicking two in a minute as the Blues ended their Adelaide Oval hoodoo. Back to De Koning. Walsh, can Cripps do it again? What is that? And the number one moment of the round goes to a star in the making, the all-classy Sam Darcy, doing it up the ground and then moments later, following up with a perler from the boundary line. Superb smother from Darcy. How big is that? Eugle Hagen. Trelaw. Lob. Back to Darcy. Darcy. No way. No way. There's Darcy after taking the mark. He's going to play on in desperation from Darcy. It's a second smother he's done tonight. It's resulted in a goal, but then this is just, we're talking about his height, his agility, and his smarts. And a second to sum up what's in front of him. Nice little banana around the body. A great reward for that desperation smother. Thanks for watching the 10. We'll see you next week.